गणेश साइकिल टूवर्ड्स साउथ वेस्ट गणेश साइकिल टूवर्ड्स साउथ वेस्ट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ एट मीटर्स देन ही मूव्स टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर्स फ्रॉम देयर ही मूव टूवर्ड्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ एट मीटर्स देन ही मूव टूवर्ड्स वेस्ट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स मीटर्स एंड ब्लाबला सो जस्ट ट्रेस द पाथ ऑफ गणेश फाइनली इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड आउट हाउ फार इज ही फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सो अ रेगुलर क्वेश्चन टाइप फ्रॉम डायरेक्शन राइट ट्रेस द पाथ ऑफ गणेश एंड फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन हिज एंड पोजिशन एंड द स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन but this one seems to be a little little tricky because they're not cardinal directions right he's also used intercardinal direction like southwest and then northeast and northeast and southwest etc it's not just east to west north or south so be careful trace the path properly and i'm sure you should be able to get the answer without any difficulty got it 10 meters option 2 option 2 or 6 meters right new answer coming in from prabhakar paul who's got option 4 6 meters yes and i think prateep has also got the same answer 6 meters so there's no consensus here huh neeraj jha has mentioned that it it makes a parallelogram right yeah so the more responses i read i get to see that you guys have got either option 2 10 meters is answer or option 4 6 meters yeah okay now i think for the previous one there are more uh, logics coming in we have mahata here who says if i say that the constant is the middle then option 1 will be the answer well there are different ways of looking at it like somebody has talked about i think the sum of the uh, numerical positions right that way something else comes out to be the odd one and and this is a never ending argument right so you just go ahead with what you think is right in case you are confused otherwise if you get only one way as an odd one then mark it as an answer let's see sometimes you have to take a risk confused huh neeraj is confused and others have got 10 or 6 chalo let's let's take it up i think i have given you enough time and while i see that most of you have got option 2 10 meters as answer there are a good number of students who have got option 4 so we need to discuss this clearly try try this out now look look at this question it says ganesh cycle towards southwest a distance of 8 meters then he moves towards moves towards east a distance of 20 meter from there he moved towards northeast a distance of 8 meters then he moved towards west a distance of 6 meters from there he moved towards northeast a distance of 2 meters then he moved towards west a distance of 4 meters and then towards southwest 2 meters and stops at that point how far is he from the starting point right options given to us are 12 meters 10 meters 8 meters and 6 meters now you know once you read this question you should you should actually be happy about the fact that all the directions have been clearly specified here right it's it's not about right or left of ganesh that he has taken a left from there then right from there and then left and then left and right and all that because there you have to kind of spend maybe 1 second or 2 seconds to find out what will be the left or right when a person is moving in a particular direction right but we don't have to do that here because very clearly he has mentioned the direction the actual direction right like southwest or east or you know northeast or west or northeast and so on right west here and so on so so just trace the path right you know all these directions right directions the cardinal and the intercardinal directions i mean i don't have to do this but let, let us quickly recap right east west uh, north and south and then this is anything between north and east is northeast right in any direction between north and east this is northeast then this is southeast what we have here is southwest and this one is northwest all right so let's read the path now so ganesh cycles towards southwest a distance of 8 meters let's assume this is the starting point he he cycles towards southwest a distance of 8 meters well it doesn't look like a straight line let me let me just try it once again yeah so this is the starting point of ganesh let's say right he started here he travels towards southwest a distance of 8 meters 
so he's traveled 8 meters this is southwest then he moved towards east a distance of 20 meters so he's at this point now he moved towards east now east is anyway always towards this side right so he moved towards east a distance of 20 meters so he has moved a distance of 20 meters and he stops here right this is the stop from there he moved towards northeast from there he moved towards northeast so from any point northeast is always in this direction so he moved towards northeast a distance of 8 meters northeast a distance of 8 meters right now strictly speaking you cannot really answer this question answer cannot be determined to this question because you got to understand that you know like like i mentioned earlier any direction between north and east is considered to be northeast any direction between you know south and east is considered southeast any direction between north and west is northwest and any direction at any angle it, i mean it, it can be 45 degrees northeast 40 degrees northeast 60 degrees northeast all these are northeast only now when you read the first part it says ganesh cycles towards southwest a distance of 8 meters so this is southwest then east 20 meters and from here he says northeast now northeast 8 meters can be considered in you know infinite ways here right it can be 8 meters northeast like this or 8 meters northeast like this or this is 8 meters northeast or this can be 8 meters northeast or this can be 8 meters northeast it should be between north and east it should be between north and east so multiple uh, directions are possible there, right infinite directions are possible however to keep it simple and otherwise you will not get the answer cannot be determined is not given in the options right so we'll consider that this southwest and this northeast are parallel to each other or let us assume that uh, both are 45 degrees i mean anywhere we have given southwest or northeast or northwest or southeast we should consider it to be 45 degrees at an angle of 45 degrees so going with that assumption what happens at this point he travels from there he moves northeast a distance of 8 meters so he's now moved northeast a distance of 8 meters so these two are parallel understand these two lines are parallel to each other well they may not look like in the diagram here but these are actually parallel then he moved towards the west a distance of six meters so he's at this point now and he's moving towards west now how much a distance of six meters so he moves a distance of six meters right again realize that these this line the 20 meter line and the six meter line that we have drawn are parallel he stops here from there he moves northeast a distance of 20 meters again northeast there are infinite ways of doing it but we'll consider the same angle 45 degrees so he moves northeast a distance of two meters so he moves two meters he moves a distance of two meters then he moved towards west again a distance of four meters he moves west again a distance of four meters and then towards southwest see here he's at this point he moves southwest a distance of two meters southwest is this well all these are parallel i i, I think i'll just redraw one one only this last section here You don't do this drama in the exam, huh? you won't be getting extra marks for doing it neatly. I'm just trying to make it look appropriate so that you can follow it easily. So what happened? He moved 6 meters here and then northeast a distance of 2 meters here and then west a distance of 4 meters, right? A distance of 4 meters and then southwest a distance of 2 meters, 2 meters. And then stops at this point. This is the stopping point. So this was the, you know, starting point. And this is the stopping point. Here's the stopping point. So how far is he from the starting point? So we got to find out the distance between these two points. What is the distance between these two points is the question. Now, now if you understand, all these legs are parallel, right? All these slant legs that you see are parallel. I'll, I'll highlight using, I mean, I'll highlight these legs. All these are parallel. Understand? This one, they're all parallel, right? And then... Uh, these ones are also parallel like this and this and this these are all parallel so all the green highlights are parallel all the yellow highlights are also parallel so going by you know the diagram now if you if you look at it since this two meters and two meters are parallel right since these two lines are parallel to each other and if this horizontal line is four meters i can say this also is four meters this will also be four meters right so what's the total now this is 10 you see six plus four ten this comes out to be ten and we know that these two are also parallel these two yellow highlights are also parallel if these two are parallel and then since this 10 meter and 20 meter are also supposed to be parallel both of them have to be equal i mean from this, this makes a parallelogram if you understand s t u v let's say i'm just giving some variables there, right so s t u v has to be a parallelogram s t u v so this is 20 this is 8 this is 8 and we know that up to this point it is 10 so obviously this one also has to be 10 because both will be equal right 
So this question mark here should be equal to 10 meters. 10 meters, which is option two. All right. So the final answer to this question is option two. So it's all about tracing the path properly there, right? And and remember that one underlying assumption here is that uh, northeast or northwest or southeast or southwest are all at a 45 degree angle. We have we have assumed that. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve this. Otherwise, the question cannot be answered, right? Answer cannot be determined. So option two, 10 meters is the answer. 